In this video, we are going to talk about how you can transfer your NFTs from OpenSea over into the safety of a hardware wallet. In this case, we're gonna be using our Ledger wallet and you can use any wallet that you want. There are a lot of good hardware wallets out there that are arguably better than the Ledger wallet. It's just, that's what I happen to have. So I'm logged in through MetaMask. If you look at these NFTs over here, so let's say I wanna move one of these sevens over, you know, we would click on this one and then we click on this little gift button up here. The little gift button over here, you can see the transfer button and you hit transfer. And what you would do afterwards is you would transfer it to you know, any of your wallets, right? So in this case, I'm gonna move it over into Ledger and I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a second, but you gotta make sure that you get the wallet or the address first. In this case, I'd move it over into this wallet over here and then you go ahead and just hit the transfer button. Gas fees are super expensive. This is something to keep in mind. I mean, if you're gonna try to transfer like 10 NFTs and you're paying 68 bucks to transfer, oh my God, it's $71 right now. It's gonna cost you a, a hefty penny to be able to do so. In this case, I'm actually, because the gas fees are so expensive, I could either wait or what I can do is I could transfer arguably a more valuable NFT if I'm gonna spend that amount of money. Um, so I'm gonna transfer this cool cat over here. So I'm gonna click on the cool cat. So we're gonna transfer. We're gonna do the same thing over here. And then we're gonna hit transfer. Just make sure everything looks good. It looks like the gas fees just came down a little bit. And also while that pulls up, this is Ledger Live. Now we can see the NFTs have arrived into my wallet. The Cool Cats NFT is right here. The sevens that I transferred over, I uh, transferred one earlier, and then there's one sitting over here. This is just one example, right? So what you can do is if you're using Ledger, which is the hardware wallet that I'm using, if you go log into the Ledger Live app, go into Discover, and then click on rainbow.me. And then once you click on rainbow.me, it'll say that you're being redirected to another application. And this is where you can see your NFTs in all their glory. I also believe they have an app for either Android or iOS, so it's all in here. And so, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Your NFTs have been transferred safely. Now that we see the transaction has succeeded, we can go back and look at CoolCat. So we can see that it's been moved over to this other address. And you can see that I've transferred some previous NFTs over. I've transferred this one too. So again, keep in mind, you, you probably don't want to do this when gas fees are super high. Otherwise, you're going to get destroyed. But you can see at least on the OpenSea side that it's gone through. You can check Etherscan as well. The other thing I want to call out here, why well, you want to move it off of MetaMask in general. So generally, you want to put stuff into cold storage at the end of the day. You want things to be secure. There's a lot of MetaMask scams that are going on right now. And it's really easy for someone to scam you right now because the scams look so believable. I mean, people are making like Chrome extensions, I believe that look like MetaMask. That's more of like a hot wallet. So whatever you can do to secure your own stuff, you wanna do so because it's still very much the wild, wild west right now. Let's say you spend a good amount of money. Maybe you've invested, I don't know, half of your life savings into something. You don't want it to just go poof. I've seen that happen to a lot of people. Let's say you invest, I don't know, something, an NFT that's maybe worth $10,000. You know, it appreciates to 400,000 and you wanna hold on to it. It's generally not safe to just kind of leave it into MetaMask. So even paying these gas fees to move them off, you're gonna generally have more peace of mind because a good chunk of your net worth is in that. So that's something to just keep in mind um, if you're gonna be playing this game and if you're gonna be trying to buy and hold, you wanna be looking at these as assets. This is your form of digital art at the end of the day. So that is it for this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell button if you enjoyed videos like this. And tell me what hardware wallets you actually really like that you think are better than Ledger. Drop that into the comments and I might do a video on other wallets I'm looking at, other wallets that I've bought uh, in addition to the current wallets that I have right now because people are continuing to update their technology. So that is it for this video. Don't forget to check out one of the other ones over here and we'll catch you later.